Yes, good afternoon and welcome back to Men in Movement 2 with this session on politics of representations. Before going into the uh, session, just let, let me make some announcements about today, today's schedule. After this session, from a quarter to six to quarter past six, we will have a presentation of the journal about AG, about gender, with Emanuela Batecola here in this room. And then at half past six until eight, more or less, we will have an activist encounter among members of the different activist associations that are today with us. Among them, Maige, Homes Igualitaris, Masquile Plurale, Men Engage, etc. Everybody is invited to this workshop, so we all can participate. Once this is said, let me give a few thoughts about how or and why politics of representations are important. That is, why is it important how we represent and how we are represented in a visual and mediatized local, regional, and global world, taking here me, Professor Messer Smith's words. First, I want to mention Erwin Goffman and his notion of the art of managing impressions and how meeting social expectations derives from the way and our expertise in managing the impressions we give and have on others. This managing of impressions involves performing identities that will have favorable outcomes for us in the context of the social interactions we are immersed in. This process for government involves combinations of concealment, exaggeration, fabrications, etc. I also want to mention Clifford Gertz, the famous American anthropologist, and his idea that representations are a model for, as well as a model of reality in a process that normally naturalizes experiences. In other words, for Gertz, social and cultural worlds articulate media, and I would add, media and discourse articulate social and cultural worlds. Of course, there cannot be a session on po the politics of representation without mentioning Stuart Hall, who, as you know, derived from neo-Marxism, affirmed that power consistently strives to fix meaning to support its agenda. I think it is particularly interesting, and I hope we can see many examples of this, his idea that individuals receive meaning, but remake this meaning minute by minute, so that meaning is constantly changing and cannot be fixed. Therefore, it is imperative to critically interrogate the meanings of media representations, because these representations are connected to identity and politics. Considering that genders are cluster concepts that surpass simple meanings, dichotomies, and binarism, and considering that discourses in and of the focus on our political struggles are based mainly in representations. Representa representations can be seen as a means for the struggle for power. Representations are also related in Foucauldian terms to the politics of truth and the discourses of truth that Foucault enunciated producing an effect of truth, which is a very powerful idea that is sometimes forgotten. Furthermore, I think a reflection on the politics of representation is urgent today because of the 
tendency to labeling and relabeling that is facilitated by social media and constant tagging. This constant tagging and constant labeling of the selves provokes a reinforcement of categories situated between queer fluid categories and strict tags whose use fills our world and jumps from the digital to the physical in a spiral of identities that, of course, refer to politics as much as they refer to representation. After these few words, let me introduce the participants in this session. In the first place, we have Kritia Nardini. I am very pleased to introduce Kritia. Thank you <laughs> She's been trained in philosophy and gender studies, and she's a PhD candidate in anthropology at the Open University in Catalonia. Her project of research investigates men's networks for gender justice in Italy in Sp and Spain. In the second place, we have Elisa Giomi. Very pleased to have her here as well. She is an associate professor in the field of sociology of cultural and communication processes at the Department of Philosophy, Communication and Visual Arts at Roma Tre University. And last but not least, we have Stefano Ciccone. He is an activist in Maschile Plurale. and He holds a PhD in gender at the Tor Bergata University in Rome. Thanks for being here and whenever you want. <laughs> 